My 2015 Honda CB500X needs an oil change. So I'm going to do that today and I'll try to uh, document that as well as I can and make it as uh, simple and straightforward as possible. But I'll just be using my owner's manual um, and going step by step through that. And at least for the 2015, the, the maintenance schedule is on page 43 and it calls for an en engine oil change every 8,000 miles or every 12 months, whichever comes first. And I actually did my oil oil uh, last fall, and it just it's just looking dirty now, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And I just got back from a pretty long trip, so thought it was time to get it done. Uh, so flip it over to page 65, and again I'm just gonna go by the book, step by step, through the process. So here's what you're gonna need to change the oil. Uh, you're going to want, you're going to need a, uh, some, a, some kind of wrench to take off the oil filter. Ideally, you're going to have a, a, an oil filter socket and a torque wrench because the, the book does call for specific torque factors. I need a drain pan of some sort. Uh, wrenches, I think it's going to require a 10 or 12 millimeter wrench. I'm not sure if it requires both of them. Most things on this bike require one of these two sizes. So I, I, I'm imagining, I imagine it's going to be the 12, but I really don't know. I'll, I can't remember, and I'll, I'll put on the screen here what it actually requires. You're going to need the ceiling washer. You're going to need an oil filter. I'll put the model number on the screen somewhere here so you can see that. And uh, I've got three quarts of Honda 10W30 motorcycle oil. And so the nice thing is Amazon, somebody on Amazon sells a kit, an oil change kit for the CB500X. And it includes the ceiling washer, the uh, oil filter, and the three quart, quarts of oil. And I think, it, I think with shipping and everything, I think it was about 30 bucks. Uh, so basically 30 bucks to change the oil once a year. Not too bad.
A, if you don't have the live on the PDF, There it is, used a little bit under three quarts, and I just filled it until it got to that top fill level. Nice clean oil, that was all black before, so it needed it. I'll get the uh, oil cap back on, uh, start it up, and check it for leaks. I, I ran it and checked for leaks. Did not see any leaks, um, but I've after I shut it off, it let it sit for a couple minutes, and you can see how much lower the oil level is. And so I'll end up using probably most of the remaining quart. So I'll almost use full three or three full quarts of oil. I think I think it just drops like that because the oil filter is empty when you put a new one on and. Uh, once you start it up and cycle it, it it's, some of that oil ends up uh, filling the filter. So I'll do that. I'll run it one more time to make sure it's not uh, leaking. And then I'll make sure after I run it again that the oil level is up to uh, where it should be. So here we are after uh, filling it up. That's that's all three that's all three quarts in there. After running it a couple times to get the oil in the filter, and you can see it's an acceptable level.
I hope this was uh, helpful. I'll put a link to that oil uh, change kit down in the uh, description. All right, friends, take it easy, ride safe, and peace.